Hi, I'm Catherine Mora. I'm a book coach working with coaches, speakers and entrepreneurs to help them write a quality book and get it out into the world. Today's topic is how to write your life story or memoir. I have lots of people coming to me who say they'd like to write their life story to help people. And so let me give you a couple of quick ideas about how to get started with that. As you can imagine, writing your life story, you could almost write infinitely. You could probably have a 20-part novel, like a 20-novel series about your life. But that would be pretty boring, I think, even with someone with the most exciting life you can imagine. So what you really want to do is pick the highlights, but which highlights do you pick? Well, you pick the highlights that center around a theme or a message. So what is the theme or message of your book? Now, this might be a little bit tricky for some people to work out, and there is a bit of a skill to it, I guess. So if you have a business, like you're a coach or a consultant, it is great if your memoir aligns with the work that you're doing and that way your reader might end up becoming your client and the book is there to serve as a way of them getting to know you and your life story and what you've been through and the journey you've had that's helped you get to where you are today because if they resonate with that because they're along that point somewhere doing something similar or having the same sort of struggles they know that you've gotten your way through it and they've read about how you've gotten through that and now you might have qualified as a coach or done some sort of other training in which you can use your experience plus that training to help the person so the book would ideally have this central theme or message. So an example I've used before is if you're a weight loss coach, for example, your book might be about or would make sense really to be about your weight loss journey. Probably you've had yo-yo weight and tried all different types of diets and you've, you've put on weight and then you've lost it and then you... And then you put it on again and then you tried a new diet and, you, and then you put it on again and then you tried a new thing. And your reader will will understand that and will resonate with that. So if you tell the story about the first time you heard about a diet and then what happened, you know, maybe you were only five and someone told you you were overweight. So you might start the book telling that story and then what's happened over the years. You'd also talk about how your weight affected your self-esteem, your relationships, your work anything else that it might have affected. So you've got this central theme of the weight loss and then all the other little threads are coming in, telling the stories about how it impacted the rest of your life. And that way, you've got that sort of common thread. Otherwise, it'd be almost impossible to pick all the stories that you could about your life. Now, where you start your story is also really important. You don't want to start with, I was born in 1975 and I had two brothers and two sisters, you know, blah, 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 very boring. What you need to do is drop the reader right into the action. So what's the first thing that happened when, you know, that first moment that launched this journey? So sticking to their weight loss coach, what's the first time you heard the word diet? What's the first time that you got told you were fat, for example? Um, some really, really significant experience that drops the reader in and they go, oh my God, I need to keep reading this because they identify with it immediately and it grabs their attention. Sometimes I do like to do a prologue where the prologue is a pivotal moment in your life. I have to say this is, I guess, one of my zones of genius is helping someone pick the structure of their book as well as the timing because it's so important that you get the reader in at the right moment and keep them engaged. But what I like to do with a prologue is pick a pivotal moment in your life and I've got different ways of working that out. And then from there, you tell a little bit of that story. Then you can go in chapter one back a little bit and then that pivotal moment, you might bump into it again halfway to two thirds of the way through the book. So this is a really, really key part of writing your memoir is picking the theme and then picking the time frame. What do you cover? You know, when do you start? When does it finish? So I hope that's been helpful if you're writing a memoir. If you'd like to write one, do feel free to message me, comment below, send me a PM. I look forward to helping you and having a brainstorm with you if it is the right thing for you to do at the moment. And until then, I will see you on the next video. Bye.